Okay, let's talk about how we measure the potential difference across like a resistor or how we measure the current flowing through a resistor. So we can measure the potential difference across a resistor with a voltmeter, it measures volts. We can measure the current flowing through a resistor with an ammeter, it measures the amps. So, but they're constructed in a couple different ways with our voltmeter. So how is your voltmeter hooked up into the circuit with regard to the resistor? in parallel. And so the idea is that your voltmeter, your ammeter, either way, you don't want them to change the current flowing through the circuit in any appreciable way. So in this case, if this voltmeter wasn't here, where's the current flow through? Resistor. The resistor. Because the voltmeter's here now, where can the current also flow through? Through the voltmeter. If I want to make sure that pretty much the current's only going through the resistor, well, the voltmeter itself has its own resistance associated with it. What do I want to be true about it then? I want a very high resistance, like really high. And so in this case, an ideal voltmeter would have infinite resistance. That way, all the current really does go through there. Well, in this case, it's just going to be really high. That way, only a small current goes through here. And so if you look, though, if I do measure the tiny bit of current that flows through here, and I know that this thing has a super high resistance, what does that allow me to calculate? Yeah, the drop in potential as well, though. So, and so if I measure the drop in potential here, what's going to be true about the drop in potential across the resistor? It's exactly the same because they're in parallel. So for an ideal voltmeter, you want an infinite resistance. So, and obviously that's not really practical, but you're going to have a very high resistance. That way you only draw a small current. Most of the current still goes through your resistor. And that way it just doesn't really influence the circuit so in a huge way. Because the more you influence the circuit, then the less accurate you're going to be in measuring it. Cool, with your ammeter here, it's actually hooked up with your resistor in series. And because they're in series, what is the same? Current. The current. So any current flowing through the ammeter is the current flowing through the resistor. But again, I don't want to change the overall current flowing through my circuit here in any appreciable way. So what do I want to be true about the resistance of my ammeter? I want it to be really small. And in fact, an ideal ammeter would have a resistance of zero. And that way it doesn't affect the circuit at all. Well, again, the truth is it's really going to have some sort of small resistance. So but I'll measure the current flowing through here and know that it's the same through my resistor. Cool. There's your ideal voltmeter, your ideal ammeter. And just know those are the ideals. And the reality is as close to those as we can get.